deep in the heart of industrial Glasgow was a terrifying warning to ancient Scots. A sign graphically aimed at those on a journey along the Clyde River and heading to the Western Hebrides. They all passed by this place. Its clear warning, enter at your peril the realm of the strangest and most deadly creature that Scotland has ever known. The Bahir. Bahirs were over 20 foot long, have a horned head, poison fangs, square scale body and a pointy tail. Their Gallic name gives us clues to their habits. Bahir is also an ancient Scottish word for lightning or tempest. It was known that the Bahia was at its deadliest when it emerged from the ocean or sea lochs on a warm summer night in a thunderstorm. The Bahia came onto land to feed on any creature it could devour, but also seemed to be weirdly recharged by the electric power of the thunderstorm. I grew up in the West Highlands, the Bahia was well known in local legends and appears in many place names marking the tragic ends of my ancient ancestors. If you were unfortunate enough to encounter this creature, you had little chance of escape. Its voracious appetite and fast movement sealed your fate. But some did have an even more terrifying encounter with this beast. Its poisonous sting strangely did not kill you straight away, but kept you tastily alive in a near zombie state until the creature needed its next meal. If you were not consumed, your body remained paralyzed. But as soon as the Bahia returned to the sea, its venom was activated, instantly killing you. If you were lucky enough to be accompanied on your fateful encounter and your wound was washed with water, it was possible to recover. The water antidote had to be applied before the Bahia itself entered its aquatic realm. To add to the non-earthly nature of this terrifying creature, it also possessed the ability to regenerate itself. It is often depicted devouring its own tail. That it did if hungry. Its new tail would be seen to emerge while watching. The few brave Scottish warriors who encountered a Bahir and tried to dispatch it with an axe or a sword soon discovered the creature's regenerative ability was a surprising and deadly twist for the hunter. Whoever managed to sever the body of a Bahir saw the severed parts of the creature slither together. Now angered by your attack, your fate was sealed. In Argyle, it's often said you need to travel to a distant hill to separate the slithering parts of a Bahir to stop its horrible regeneration. Today, you can find Bahir Bray, Ben Bahir, and fishermen often name protruding rocks Bahir Omar. So what was recently found in Glasgow? Five carved rocks, surrounded by the dinosaurs of Clydeside shipbuilding and protruding from the ground in a Christian churchyard, recently usurped from the Scottish ancient religions and knowledge. The chilling warning sign along the Clyde is now surrounded by signs of industrial modern decay. But in the 21st century, it was still there. If you knew where to look and what it really meant, 
That was until the local church ignored five arch protuberances in their graveyard and decided to dig them up. Did they unwittingly destroy a warning from history? They thought that the hog's back stones were evidence of Viking grave markers, but of course they found nothing buried underneath the Bahia's stony back. Its sole purpose was to remain there forever as a warning. The five sections are now inside a Christian church in Govan, no longer effective as a deadly marker from modern Glaswegians travelling to the West Highlands. But you think I joke? No, as recently as 1930, Argyle fishermen saw the giant beast on a remote beach on the Isle of Isla. So could it still be out there, only waiting to emerge during a summer storm, hungry as ever for living flesh, and strangely needing the power of lightning to recharge its unworldly body? So what exactly do I think that the Bahias really are? This I know. They are unlike any living creature on planet Earth. Bulty domain livers, long extended lifetimes, regenerative ability with individual segments having salient motion, and a sting filled with zombie venom that could be activated at a time or a distance. Is the Bahir originally not of this Earth? Could it be residing in our oceans as a watery home from its distant planet? It certainly seems extraterrestrial, having abilities closer to the terrifying creatures from alien science fiction films than known life on Earth. The truth is out there.